talking about to build one of the boys. Uh, very excited. We've been able to pick up issue three of Build the Titanic in stores. Subscriptions haven't turned up yet. We're not expecting those until mid-February. Uh, but I just want to get going with this. And as I said before, I see no harm in having an extra smoke generator. I really don't. Um, I've seen some people that have already built the smoke generator. I will do it and I'll show it you working. Um, you're not going to see um, bellows of smoke coming out of this thing because it um, it doesn't show great on film. Uh, but <laughs> we'll see if it works or not. Um, very interesting uh, parts in this one. We are going to be building a chunk of the engine. We've got pistons for the engine, so uh, looking forward to this. Before we get into the parts that come with this month, so I just thought we, we'd take a look at this. So, I mean, we all kind of knew that... Um, these parts of the hull will come with part four, but this gives us a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming in part five. So we'll be getting some um, some more parts of the hull. The starboard side, now I'm assuming that's the stern, uh, and some more engine parts. So that's something to look forward to. Here are all the parts that come with part number three. Uh, you can see we've got these engine parts in here. Now, quite reassuringly, uh, these are metal, and they've got a decent weight to them as well. Uh, these are metal, uh, this section here is metal, these are plastic, uh, we have what is going to generate our smoke, steam, and we have our standard, uh, the test board. So this is how we're going to test our electrics as we go through the build. So I'm um, going to crack on with it and we're going we're gonna to build this and hopefully we will have quite a lovely lump of uh, engine at the end. So we are going to take these one, two, three, four starboard cylinders uh, and we are going to attach them out to this part here. And to do that, we are going to be using uh, BM screws. So we're going to put each of those in place, take a look at it when it's done. So this is what your finished part will look like when all four are attached. It's very easy to put the BM screws in. Um, because we're going into metal, we use a touch of three and one all just on the tips to ease transition. They went in. Very well, it's all held firm, it's all nice and straight, it's lovely. Uh, now we're going to repeat the exact same process with the other side. Our, our two completed parts, we have both halves of this. Next we are going to move it on to the connecting rods and the piston rods. We're going to put those together uh, and then we're going to attach them to the crankshaft. So here are our rods. Um, we have one that looks like this. Let's see if we can have the focus. There we go. And then the other part looks like this. There we go. Uh, and nothing too complicated. I mean, literally, uh, we're going to hook this part into that part, and that is going to be it. That's it. So. We have four of these to make. Now, it's important that the, the opening of the mouth is facing the same way on both. So we're going to make all four of those, and we'll take a look at them. So now we have our four complete rods, and we're going to be attaching them to this crank arm. Again, these things aren't screwed on. They're just going to hook onto this because they need to move. Um, so this is, as we said, this is a working engine. You will be able to see this moving by removing a, a, a part of the, uh, the side of the ship. We will be able to see this doing its thing. So there we have the completed part. Um, again, now you've got to be careful because the, the ends on this crankshaft are different. So when you're assembling this, make sure you've got the right way around. This pin needs to go on this side here. We're now going to add that to one of the parts we made previously. Here we have it placed, ready for assembly. Uh, now these, these all fit into a channel inside each of these pieces. So they should move freely when this is assembled. Now our piece is assembled. We've added these two uh, braces here and here to hold the crankshaft in place. Now, this one, 3L, is longer than 3M. So when you're doing this, make sure that you've got the longest one is uh, the one with the fattest pin, and the one with the shortest pin has the shortest one. Now, uh, I believe we're going to screw this together. So there is our assembled piece. We use these two plates here. That screwed the whole thing into place. So that's now holding nice. There's one thing left to do on this section, and that is to attach this cog to this pin here. And then when we're happy with the fit, we're going to apply a little glue to it and keep it held on there. 
and now this section is complete we have our gear in place and now you can see as the gear turns and I think I've got to agree that is really rather lovely our pistons moving that's a gorgeous thing and when this is fully uh automated when the electronics are in and this thing's doing its own thing it's going to be a sight to behold it really is going to be lovely quite simply we've taken the test ball we put the two AAA batteries in it and we've plugged the smoke generator in what we're going to do now is we are going to pour some water on some kitchen towel um, we're going to get this quite quite sodden with water uh, we're going to place this in hit the button and hopefully we should generate some steam. Now, I'm not expecting an instant reaction, and I don't know how good this is going to out on camera, but let's have a look, see if it works. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's it's coming out on camera, but I assure you, there is a stream of, uh, of fog coming off of this. Let's see if... I think you can see a sort of wisping. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you can see it is doing its thing. It's just not come out on camera. It looks a lot better in real life than it does on camera. I can see on my monitor it's not having quite the side effects on camera. But from what I'm looking at, it looks really good. So those are our parts for part three complete. I apologise I couldn't, if my camera wasn't picking it up. But trust me, it is a, a decent amount of uh, steam is being generated by this thing. And uh, we'll have a chat about it. So that's part three in the bag. Um, it's lovely. It really is. I apologise my camera's not picking that up. But trust me, it is generating steam. Um, now, when this is inside a, uh, a funnel, what's going to happen is that that kind of steam and fog is going to build up inside there. And then it's going to come uh, sort of pouring out. So when you're initially making this, it, it's you'll, you'll get your jet, but you're going to get more. Because it will build up and it will push out. And you, you'll see it a, a little better when it's enclosed in a funnel. This piece of engine is is gorgeous. Just seeing these little pistons going up and down, I think is is fantastic. Uh, it's just such a nice build. This it really is. Like I said, our subscription hasn't arrived yet, but I don't think anyone's has. I don't think anyone's on three and four. Theirs has turned up yet, so we will have another one of those. Um, and again, as I've said, I don't think there's anything any harm at all in having a spare test board and a, a spare. Uh, a spare smoke generator it's a very cool little thing and if we don't need a spare maybe we can use it on some other little model that we make at some point but that's that's a lovely little thing it really is and it's those little things i think are really going to make this model pop um because it's um it's, it's just looking like it's going to be beautiful it really is i mean just just that little piece of engine that we've got there i think it's going to be gorgeous when this is done and that thing's running with the electrics and it's all lit up i think it's going to be really nice uh, thank you for your comments on, on the last couple of videos. It's very much appreciated. If you are enjoying the Titanic build, please give us a like. Uh, it helps the channel a lot. And if you'd like to subscribe to see the rest of the build, you definitely can. When uh, our subscription comes through, which should be, I think, in about another two weeks, we should get three and four turn up at before. And it's going to be two a month at that point. It, it's, it's two a month right up until issue eight. I've got to correct something I said in video one. Um, about Agora. Now I believe I believe Agora are eventually going to have this to the UK but at the moment Agora are pretty much only selling to France and I think America. So if you want this, uh, my French and American friends, Agora is the place to get it from. However, you're going to be on the same scheme as us. They're not doing the 10-pack um, method. I've no doubt they will eventually. When this thing is, is halfway through at the end of this run I have no doubt they will start picking up the 10-pack thing but at the moment I believe you'll be getting six a month starting in May. Um, so it, it, it will be, you'll catch up to where we are. So if you start in May, you will catch us up. Um, whether or not you pass us, I don't know. Um, I've gone through the Hachette method and I've picked the premium subscription because I would like the display case because any model that's there for two and a half years is going to be a dust magnet. So, if, so keeping this thing clean is fine whilst I'm building it. But then once it's done, I want it in a nice case, and I think it's going to look an absolute peach. I really do. Um, the Eagle Moss Titanic is out now as well. There are a lot of videos on that online. I'm not doing that one, but it, again, it's a beauty. All these Titanic models are really lovely, but for me, the Hashet just edges it with that metal hull. It really does, and I think this is a gorgeous thing.
Lots of other builds on the channel. Uh, we've got Iron Man and R2-D2 coming up this week. Ecto-1 has been sent. Whether that turns up or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, thanks for stopping by. And again, if you're enjoying it, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and you can see all the builds we've got on the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. And in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. Thank you.